Well, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew and uh, what we're working on today is going to be getting this fire trailer put together. We bought the trailer in Colorado and upfitted it to the 3,500 pound axle and the 35 inch tires on 17 inch wheels. Those are takeoffs from the last set, the last set I had on the Raptor. So we put this trailer together, we put this trailer together in Colorado drove it across the United States and it did great no problems whatsoever fenders are kind of a joke but like I said in the last video we may address that we may not that'll probably be a future thing because right now the focus is all of this out here so we don't have a whole lot of time to go kind of needlessly fabricating cool stuff uh, my focus right now is getting this land cleared getting that pile burned and then there's another big pile over there so getting these piles burned and before I can before I'm comfortable doing that I want to get some sort of fire suppression because there's no water on this property right now there's no well and even if there was you're not going to drag a fire hose across the property so we want mobile uh, irrigation and also mobile fire suppression we have a one inch harbor freight pump I know a lot of people go with a two inch pump but we're going to try the one inch pump because here's the philosophy I'm not gonna put out like house fires with this thing. This is fire suppression trailer. So just to keep the fire back, if I can beat it, fantastic. Um, and I'm, I really don't expect a fire. We're gonna be very safe about it. I mean, we've got plenty of land cleared out here and we'll probably start the fire over there. But in the event that something does happen, I don't wanna be sitting here on my thumbs waiting on the fire department to show up to rescue us. So we're gonna do this in a prepared way. My mentality is the one inch pump gives me We'll say like, I don't know, these are rough numbers. I haven't done any math uh, exactly, but it's 35 gallons per minute. So that's 10 minutes of water spraying. Uh, if we went with a two inch pump, it's that much less minutes of water. So we can spread this water out a lot better with a one inch pump instead of putting a ton of water down in one location. It just kind of lengthens our spray time. Again, if we were fighting like a house fire, I can see where you would want like a ton of water on one spot, but for out here in the woods, just to dampen stuff down, you know, someday if a grass fire gets away from us or, or whatever the case is, this will just give us the opportunity to uh, prolong our water. So we're gonna try and see if the skid steer can lift these off. They're a little bit beyond the lift capacity of the skid steer, but the skid steer the thing is a monster. It's a 2005 Thomas. Uh, T175, which says it should lift like uh, 1,750 pounds, give or take, somewhere around there. But I have lifted 2,000 pounds with that skid steer multiple times, and it doesn't care. So, and it's if anything, it's tippy to the rear with nothing on the forks. You have to have a real, a real implement on the front of that thing to not be kind of rear tippy because the counterweight is, it's heavy. So, let's get this thing. We'll get these tanks unhooked and strapped down and then we'll try and get the first one off and set on this trailer. One thing I just realized is this darn gate might be in the way. So the gate isn't really necessary. It's so short and the trailer's so high now that when you drop the gate, it doesn't hit the ground anyway. All right, so it's gonna make a liar out of me today because the tip, the front of the trailer is tipped up. But even regardless, like you could load a dirt bike up on that or like an ATV, but there's not much else you could load up like that. But we're going to try and not destroy this gate today. And the way they put these pins on, you got the weld on the inside here and the weld on the inside there. So there's no way to remove the gate. And that's probably something we're going to address because when this is being used as a fire suppression trailer, I don't really want a gate on it because the plan is to have the tank uh, a little forward of the axle to make sure we have plenty of tongue weight and then a pump and probably a pressure washer hanging off the back here with a rack for our hose eventually. So it'll just be, everything is right here, ready to go. So the gate will have to go. So we might find ourselves, if it's in the way, I'm just gonna cut it off today.
Turns out we got into the ramp a little bit. Should be all right. So there we are. I really think it needs to go farther forward from where it currently is sitting. Just because if I do plan to have the pump out back here and I'm going to put it on the trailer, I think the pump will fit there, but I don't think the pump's going to fit there with the gate. And the pressure washer definitely won't fit there, so. But we are, I'd say we're two-thirds of the weight in front of the axle. So I think weight-wise, we're perfect. What we'll do is we'll get her strapped down, just so it's not moving around on the trailer. We'll just throw one strap over it. And then uh, we'll get the pump on here. All right, so first things first, got to remove all these warning labels, read them later. Check the oil. All right, I'll admit, I did see the one that said you had to add oil and I checked and it doesn't have any oil in it, so. Let's make a big old mess out here. Should've read the manual to see how much I needed. It's a little over full, but it's about perfect. So we had to go galvanized to neck down from the tank because it's a two inch national pipe thread NPT down to, uh, we're taking it to one inch. So we'll have this on the tank. Then we'll have this on this suction hose. You gotta use a specific suction hose. We're gonna go with these cam locks because it's nice to be able to just, instead of like sitting there and twisting things, and if you're kind of in a hurry, if you ever try to thread something without cross-threading it in a hurry, it doesn't go very well. Um, so we're gonna go with these cam locks on everything that we would need to like hook up real quick or like take off of one thing and put on another. So this is the feed hose or the suction hose. It's specific because it has, you can't just use any hose. This is like a, it's got like structure to it. It's got a coil, like a plastic coil inside of it. So. So we're gonna shove this tank forward a little bit just to give us some more room back here. And if we have to reinforce the tongue up there, then we'll just have to do that. But that's my concern right now, is just that tongue being a little too flexible. Like I said, there's gonna be drug around the property and the only concern is when it's moving, you know, some of those times it's gonna be important that it moves. You don't want it to fail when you're trying to use it. So we'll, I've already drug it around the property behind the Jeep a little bit and it did fine. We'll get this thing all set up, but this is just kind of a rough put together now. Uh, in a future video, we'll add some fancy fenders on it, some hose reels and stuff like that. But right now we just need to get it functioning so that we can start burning out here. All right, so they want you to prime this pump before you turn it on. 
So you can take this off and add water there because our tank is so full and above the pump, we can just turn on the flow. And it'll prime itself. So we got run and start, and then this is our throttle. And they block you off so you can't let it run too fast. But. And then of course there's the electric kill switch, which has to be in the on position. That's some good flow. That full throttle at first and then uh, turn it down a little bit. But once we get a nozzle on there, we're going to get one of those forest service nozzles or like something similar, a woodland fire nozzle. Once we get a nozzle on that hose, man, I think it's going to spray plenty far. It's going to be perfect. But you can see how much water we went through and how quickly because that was filled up to here when we started and it's already that far gone. So a two inch pump would have pulled quite a bit more out of that in that short amount of time. So this is what we've got set up. It's looking pretty good. We do have one major issue though, and we'll get to that at the end, but we're gonna fix it long-term. I would not drive this down the road. I mean, not talking about the hoses hanging off the side, even though they'd probably be fine, or the fact that I have one ratchet strap on there. But uh, the problem we'll get to in the end. Anyway, this is, we're going to take it around the property a little bit. We're not going to beat on it because honestly, if we beat on it, I think it's going to fail. But the trailer overall is set up. Got our tank, got our hose hung off the side, got some hooks. So everything is nice and tidy and it has a home. Pressure washer is mounted. We just did a ratchet strap because I don't really want to make this too permanent. Like I've said, this trailer's job on the property while burning is going to be this it'll be if there's a fire lit on this property or we're in the month of february to april which is the kind of the high fire wildfire season in virginia this trailer will be set up like this the issue is this tongue and the way it's anchored if you look at this piece of angle iron it's bowing down in the middle there because the weight is hinging right here and pulling down there. I mean, that's just the way it is with every trailer. It's just this kind of light duty trailer and it is at capacity right now. But the problem is the whole trailer rating is 2000 pounds and we have like 2000 pounds in the front on the tongue up here. So what we'll probably eventually do is get rid of this tongue altogether because it's also bowing. You can see it right there in the middle. And then we're gonna run the tongue farther back and add a, a new brace across it. So yeah, we're definitely to the point where, yeah, I should have just built my own trailer, but I didn't have that option uh, when, when I needed this. So we're gonna run this for now. But we'll drive it around the property a little bit and uh, just make sure she's not gonna fail going slow over some bumps.